In this video, we're going to demonstrate the integration of the add-on instructions and HMI faceplates into RS Logix 5000 and Factory Talk View. To get started, download the EDS files and associated add-on instructions from our website. These files can be found under the Download tab under the FL Switch 7000 page. Once you have this tab open, scroll down to the Software section and download the latest version software package. This package contains all the necessary EDS, faceplate, and add-on instruction files. Once the files are downloaded, you can open the RS Logix 5000 environment and start the configuration process. The first step is to load the EDS files into the software. This is done by clicking on the Tools menu and launching the EDS Hardware Installation Wizard. Once in the wizard, follow the steps and load the EDS files that were just downloaded. Once you have completed this step, load the switch into the I.O. configuration. This can be done by right-clicking on the Ethernet icon and selecting New Module. In the pop-up window, uncheck Vendor Filters and just select Phoenix Contact. In the list, double-click the FL Switch 7000 opening the New Modules window. In this window, enter the switch name, the switch's IP address, and finish by clicking OK. Since we're only configuring one device, we can also close the Select Modules Type window. Next, import the add-on instruction by opening the main routine. Right-click on an open rung and select Import Rungs. Again, this file is contained in a download from Step 1. Once the file is selected, click the Import button. While the file is being imported, an Import Configuration screen will appear. If any errors occur, they can be resolved on this screen. If not, click OK to continue. Once the add-on instruction is loaded, compile and run the project. The PLC project is now complete, so move over to Factory Talk View to set up the HMI screens. Once your project is open, start by right-clicking on Communications Setup and select Create New Configuration. Next, click the Add button enter a name for your connection, and browse for the PLC we just programmed. Once you have the PLC highlighted, hit the Copy from Design to Runtime button, then confirm and apply your changes. Next, load the faceplate into the project by right-clicking on the Images icon. Select Add Component. In this window, we want to browse to the Image folder and load all four images. Now, Right-click in the Displays icon and again select Add Components. This time, load the two display files. At this point, everything is loaded and all that remains is to create a button on the main screen to launch your imported displays. To do this, open the main display and place a display button on the screen. In the Property window, select the display to launch Assign a parameter list to the Switch Parameter folder. And then label the Out button. Now run your project and view the displays that were just imported. Within this display, we can view device status, DLR status, port status, port configuration, and even status of the CIP communications, which all save you programming time. 